Now, class, I would like for you to extend a very warm welcome to my old friend, Mr. Randall Tyson of Smythe Bates Brokers. Randall? Thank you, Professor Ringo. Good to see you. Uh, well, this old room holds many memories for me. I log quite a bit of nap time in that back room. <laughs> <laughs> I sincerely wish that we had a place for all of you, but that's not the case. Five of you will be chosen. And out of the five finalists, the student who most closely resembles the ideal employee will be chosen for the position of junior analyst at Smythe Bates. Good luck to all of you. All right, class, in the uh, case study that we were examining last week, now the markets are up, but consumer spending and corporate profit margins are down. Now, how would the social planner remedy this, huh? Ooh. Downsize the labor force. What? This increases profit and the resulting price cuts stimulate consumer spending. Yo, sir. Yo. Difference of opinion here. Uh, Mr. Witherspoon, and we can do without the yoing. What he's saying is let's help people by firing them. Now, this seems to me, ebonically speaking, whack. Perhaps Daryl does have a special insight into the blue collar or, should I say, hair nut mentality. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Look. Wicks Morton Industrials, okay? In 1988, their wages exceeded their profit margins, but instead of firing people, what they did was they offered employee contracts with wage givebacks. And guess what? Their employees spent 50% more than they did the previous year. Now, what that proves is what the average Joe on the street already knows. The more money they have, the more money they can spend. He's absolutely right. Wicks Morton did do the right thing by their employees. But then again, instead of laying off workers, they took out a $20 million loan from a certain bank here in Manhattan. And from what I hear... From your dad. They're on the verge of defaulting. So what happens to your average working Joe when Wix Morton goes down? I don't think they're going to end up in the checkout line. I think it's going to be the unemployment line. And the president of the company is going to be right there with them. Ebonically speaking, you don't know shit. Dare I say, you're out of here.